Hey there friends and welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps blog and YouTube channel and we're so glad that you're joining us for this fifth anniversary celebration. Today I'm getting started with our brand new farmhouse add-on set. Now this is an add-on for our house builder stamps and dies and we have a cute small stamp set there with everything that you need to decorate the front of your farmhouse. And then the die collection is going to give you a new window, a new arch or pitch to your roof, and then all the pillars and posts and everything you need to build the perfect farmhouse. So I want to start out by showing you a little farmhouse graphic here. And the base, the gray part or the house part of this, that and the roof are from our original house builder die set. The little triangle pitch, that is new for our farmhouse along with the windows, all the little posts and pillars in the front, and then the front railing. There's also a new door and door handle, so everything that you need to design your farmhouse. Now let's take a close-up look at those little stamped and die cut pieces. So there's the porch swing, potted plants, there's a wreath, a wheelbarrow, there's a rocking chair. I have colored the little banner there red, white, and blue, so you could add that on if you wanted to do a holiday farmhouse. There's hanging plants, a mailbox, a birdhouse. There's some smaller little plants that you can mix and match in with a larger one. There's even a little lantern there that you could make a, like a porch light. And of course, the cute little weather vane. There's also an extra die that you could change out, add dimension onto your little potted plant there. Super cute and fun. And then there's also the flag that you could add to your front porch. Now there are a couple extra stamps to help you decorate your flag. So there's the little V and some stars and that's to add the little corner, the square part up into your flag and then add those stars so you can decorate that like an American flag or whatever you would like. Now here is a beautiful farmhouse from Keiko. She has her vines growing all over the front porch. She has all of her railings and pillars and hanging plants and the cute little porch swing. So beautiful. I would love to live there. And next is the super cozy farmhouse from Carol. I love her design. She's done an offset door and the window in the center. She's used three of those triangle pitches there on her roof and then all her sweet little accessories. I love this beautiful farmhouse. Next, I have a new background stamp to share with you. This is our Buffalo check stamp. It's a six by six inch huge background stamp. You can see there it's going to stamp the solid squares along with the cross hatches. So beautiful in any color whenever you need kind of that gingham buffalo check background. Just like Carol's done here. I love the purple on purple and she's paired that with one of our new buzzwords. And then Keiko has used that buffalo plaid behind her florals and that's the perfect addition for a little country floral card. We also have a brand new cover plate die, and that is the Buffalo Check or Buffalo Plaid cover plate die. Now, you can use this a few different ways. You can pair this cover plate along with that large stamped image, or you can use it by, your, by itself and cut out the little squares and do kind of a layered effect on the front of your card. And that's what I'm going to show you first. Here, Becky has popped out those squares and changed the colors underneath and done kind of an ombre effect behind her friend and her florals there. And again, Bobby has done the same way. She's added bright colors back there. So a fun way to use the cover plate die other than just for the buffalo check. Now here I've stamped that image and I've done a tone on tone yellow, but you could do any colors. You could do white paper back there and do kind of a fun gingham. I'm going to add that cover plate right over the top of my stamped image and I'm going to run that through my die machine and then I'm going to show you how you can pair the stamp and the cover plate. So I'm just going to line up those squares. So I've pulled this out of my die cutting machine and I've layered it onto white cardstock. You can see you get a kind of a fun gingham look. And then if you put it on the same color cardstock, it makes a tone on tone design, which is fun. I'm going to add some foam tape to mine and pop that stamped 
and die cut image off of my solid piece of cardstock and that makes a really fun background for any kind of card. You can see there in the top left hand corner where I have my die and then I have all of the fallout from where I have die cut all those little squares. Totally save those. You can pop those back into your design and get a fun colorful background. Here Vera has used both that stamp and the cover plate die to achieve her beautiful peachy colored background. I love that with some of our new critters. Okay, if you're like me and you like to use stencils and brush on inks, you're gonna love the Buffalo Plaid stencil set. I'm gonna take this out and first up, I need to show you the first of two stencils. There is the part that has all those squares that's gonna give you the solid squares for your Buffalo Plaid. And then there's also a stripe. Now the stripe, you're gonna use two different ways to create your Buffalo Plaid. And I'm gonna show you that here. Okay, so first, using a little bit of pixie spray, I am brushing on the color with my squares. And I'm using a darker color. I believe that's mowed lawn for the darker solid squares. And then I'm gonna use the stripes. Now first, I'm going to adhere those with pixie spray, and I'm going to put them horizontally across my background. I'm gonna brush on the little open areas, and when I get all that brushed on, this is the really important part, is you wanna take up that striped design and you want to turn those or flip those stripes vertically. So here I'm gonna show you, I've pulled it up, you can see that lighter citron green. I'm gonna cover that up, I've flipped it vertically, and I'm gonna adhere those down with the pixie spray that's left on the back of my stencil. And then I'm gonna get those nicely kind of pushed down and tacked down so the stencil doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm gonna brush on color again. Now some of the places where you have not stenciled are going to take the color that you're stenciling now. And then some of the places are gonna get darker over time as you move your stencils around. So here I'm gonna take up that stencil and then I have my Buffalo plaid design. Next up is our brand new buzzword friend. So we have the beautiful buzzword. We have mix and match sentiments like thank you for being a friend. Hey there friend, hello friend, to my friend. And then there's words like sweet and best, love you, miss you, wonderful in my life, blessed to know you, have you. And then there's kind and then there's a hi friend. Super fun ways to mix and match our sentiments. There's a three piece die set that goes along with this buzzword and you're gonna get the friend word that's in that beautiful scripty font. You're gonna get a first shadow piece and a second shadow piece. Now that second piece has a cut line around the edge and then a pierced design. And here I've cut out all three using that die set. So the white is the shadow with the pierced design, and then the dark colored cardstock is the first shadow, and then the scripty word there on top, friend in hot pink. Now you can also use those shadow pieces to use the stamp and stamp directly on top of those. So that's fun to do in different colors of ink or embossing powders. Here Jenny has done a super cute card using the dies and she's mixed that with our Happy Bee Day stamp set, the little squirrel critter there. And here Julianne has done a beautiful job with the dies to my friend. And then she's done a rainbow wreath around the edges. And then a beautiful card from Angelica. And Angelica has used Hey There and then Friend die cuts. And she's paired that with our Buffalo plaid background stamp. I have a beautiful floral set to share with you next, and this is called Farm Fresh Flowers. This is a collaboration with design team member and awesome designer, Emily Midget. She does a wonderful job with her hand-drawn sketches. Um, we have different kind of containers to put your beautiful florals in. So there's just a round vase, an old-timey milk can, and a pitcher. And then there's some stamps that you can use to stamp directly onto your receptacles there or just onto the front of your card. So we have hello, flowers, love you, farm fresh milk, 
thanks so much, hello there, and then there's a French sentiment that looks super cute stamped onto your picture. So here is a coordinating die set that you can purchase along with the stamp set. So it's going to cut out all of your vases or receptacles for your little bouquet there, along with the big floral design, and then some layering pieces that you can layer onto your old-timey milk can. And I'm going to show you exactly what all that looks like. So here's that picture, all stamped and colored and die cut. You can see there I've stamped that French sentiment there right onto that and I stamped it off once to give it kind of like it's been rubbed off and it's aged. And then there's also the cute little milk can that I've colored and I've stamped flowers in the little center of that. And then there's also the big floral bouquet and I'll show you different things that you can do with your bouquet. There's a nice round vase. It almost looks like a little fishbowl, and I've added some light blue Copic markers there to look like it has a water line. There's also the stems that you can stamp and die cut. And then there is the little layering pieces. Now those fit perfectly onto that milk can. In here I have done like a background piece and then stamped farm fresh milk onto the top piece. You can layer those together and then add those right there on your milk can for a little bit of dimension. Now for the stems, you can stamp those directly into that bowl or you can use the die cut piece and stamp and die cut it. So it's whichever way that you would like it. You can see how beautiful that is with the floral bouquet on top there. Here's what those florals look like added to the big picture. And these are so pretty. I love this loose kind of farmhouse design. I love it that it looks like you've just gone outside and picked or clipped your flowers and put them down in whatever kind of container that you had at home. Here those florals are added to the milk jug. I love that. And so lots of different ways to use your flowers. You could even make a hand bouquet. Here I have added some adhesive to those stems, tied a ribbon, and then there you have the perfect little bouquet, like it's all tied up and ready to go to its recipient. So super fun, farm fresh florals. And here's a card from Emily using her own design, and thank you for being a friend. That's the new buzzword there. Next is a beautiful card from Bobby and see that buffalo plaid background and she's used the pitcher and the milk jug and she's used the buzzword friend as well. Here Julianne has used that floral in all four corners. She's used the die cuts and then trimmed off the sides and then hey there friend. Now next up is a super cute critter stamp set and it's called Way to Goat. We have cute little critters along with sentiments like, you are the goat, the greatest of all time. I goat your back, way to goat, you goat this, hey there, kid, and then lots of those sweet little critters. There's a bunny rabbit, there's a chick and a duck, a sweet little pig, I love that little pig, and then lots of little goats. So there's some that are laying down, there are some that are running and kind of frolicking around, and then there's some flowers like tulips, there's some little daisy looking flowers. There's little grass pieces. So you can build the perfect little scene with all of your goats and animals. The coordinating die set will cut out every one of those sweet little critters along with some of the sentiments. And I have the stamped colored and die cut so you can get a look at these sweet little new critters. So there's like the mommy and daddy goat. There's the bunny rabbit the sweet little pig there, and then all of the baby goats. And then here are those sentiments. You're the goat, the greatest of all time. There's the duck, the chick, the flowers. I love these. There's the, even a little tin can that the goats can kind of play with and carry around. So these are so fun to color and play with. And here Jana, look how she's colored her sweet little goats and made a little spring scene. I love that added with the flowers. Here Jenny has done an awesome scene with our Mountain Z-Fold card base. She's added her little goat and some flowers and you goat this. 
here's an awesome scene from Ilda. She's done a whole slim line scene card. She has her goats and her pig and her little duck and lots of flowers. And she's put the hey there sentiment up in the corner. Okay, now to go with our farm theme that we have going on here today, we have a super cute and fun barn scene builder die set. This makes the cutest barn I have ever seen, and I had so much fun putting it together. Now, there are two large sets of dies in that package. So you're going to get the roof, you're going to get the outline of the barn there that's on the right, and then lots of little accessory pieces to make the doors, to make even hay bale, a trough with hay in it, and even the windmill. So I have die cut out all these pieces and I've put it together so I can show you exactly what your barn would look like. Okay, so I've done my barn here in red, of course. I've added some pattern paper for the windows and the doors, and then I have cut the design for the outside of the windows and doors out of white. I've added my little fences there and a dark roof. Now you can also cut out your hay bale. There's a trough with hay. There's the windmill I've done here in like a metallic paper. You can see how cute that turns out. And there's the rest of those accessories there, the little hay bale and the trough with hay. There's also a second window. So you could leave your hay loft window open and add that smaller hay piece up in your hay loft and it looks like hay is hanging out of your barn. So lots of different options here with your barn scene builder die set. Now you could also add a hinge onto your barn and I'll show you where you could do that in that top uh, left hand corner. See so I have two pieces of my big barn cut out there. You could add a hinge in the top left corner and then your recipient could open it just like that. So you can use it as a card base or you could just use it as a scene or a scene builder on the front of your card. It would be perfect for scrapbook pages as well. There's also a barn scene builder stencil set and I'm going to show you exactly what this will look like if you want to use it as a scene on your cards or your scrapbook pages. Okay, now I have some beautiful design team inspiration for you. This one is from Bobby. She's paired her barn with her farmhouse accessories. She's added her porch swing and hanging plants. I would love to hang out in Bobby's barn. It's so beautiful. And Leanne has created the sweetest little barn with her way to go animals. I love the pig and then there's the little duck and chicks. She's added the little tulip flowers there. I'm in love with Leanne's little barn. It's super sweet. I want to thank you for joining me for day four of the Honeybee Stamps fifth anniversary release. Make sure you check out our blog and Instagram and YouTube and all the things. And don't forget to check out those giveaways. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow for day five.